Hello, teacher. Aileen. Yeah. Aileen, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, how are you today? It's been long time, Lynn. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, are you available on Tuesday? Are you okay on Tuesday? Um, no. I'm uh, free now, teacher. Oh, You're we can on... have. Yeah, huh? we can have. Of class at 9, 9 p.m. at Friday and 9 p.m. at thurs Thursday. Ah, okay, so I will take note your schedule. Wait, Thursday, 9 p.m. Oh, I have class at 9 p.m. Thursday. How about 7 p.m. Thursday? Are you okay? Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know because that I don't really for really for it oh teacher is busy on friday so tuesday 7 p.m how about saturday or saturday are you okay or monday are you okay no on monday i have class teacher. tuesday you're busy wednesday you're busy yes okay so thursday 7 p.m okay sunday 7 p.m are you okay oh friday sorry friday 7 p.m Okay. 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 Thank you so much, Lynn. Okay. Speaking role play. Okay. So let us have here. Okay. 7 p.m. I will change that. Okay. So we have here. Okay. So we have the word game. Next, for when? Next, language. Gain. Gain. Foreign. Foreign. Language. Language. And okay, so gain, gain, foreign, foreign. and language. language. Okay, so gain it means to obtain. Or win. Foreign. Oh. Okay. Language. A. Something that people watch on television or listen to on the radio. Abroad, it means in, life, Abroad. in or to a foreign country. In or to a foreign country.
A term used as friendly farewell. Stay in touch, it means you are stay connected, okay? Stay safe, it means as a friendly farewell, generally expressing carefulness for a person to not get into trouble of any sort. So, when to use should and ought, okay? When to use should and ought. We use should and ought to give advice, okay? You should give this, okay? Lynn, you should attend my class, okay? Lynn, you should take care of yourself. So, I am giving advice. If it's negative, Lynn, you will going to say should not or ought not to, okay? Wow. So, we use should I, don't think I, ought to, to ask for advice. So, if you will going to ask for advice, okay? So, if you will going to ask advice, you have to use should, okay? Also, you have to use should also. Okay, please hear Lynn. Please try to complete sentences one to five using the words in brackets. Do not change the words, but add extra word if necessary. Okay, please listen carefully, Lynn. Can you hear me, Lynn? Yes, dear. Okay. Lesson 1G. Exercises 3 and 5. So, did you have a good time in England? It was great. I stayed with a really nice family and I got to know my exchange student quite well. Did you spend a lot of time together? Yes, we did. We had similar hobbies. For example, we both liked playing basketball, so we did that every weekend. It was good fun. I hope I get on well with my exchange student. I'm going to stay with him next term. You ought to find out about his hobbies. I think you should send him an email. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe he likes tennis. I play tennis a lot. Well, don't forget to take your tennis racket with you. And anything else you need for your hobbies. Do you think I should take some food from home with me? I'm worried that I'm going to miss it. No, I don't think you should do that. It's easy to buy all kinds of food in the supermarkets in England. What's English food like? It's OK. At school, we had lunch in the canteen every day. The food was quite good. What was the school like? It was quite a small school. I was the only exchange student there, and everybody noticed me because I wasn't wearing a uniform. But they were really friendly, and the lessons were interesting. But they were all in English, of course. I had to concentrate really hard. That sounds tiring. Yes, it was. But you get used to it. Don't worry. Have you got any other advice for me? Yes. You ought to take a present for the parents. Oh, OK. What should I buy for them? Mm, just something small. Something for the house. OK, good. And remember to say please and thank you when you're staying with them. The English are very polite. Great. Thanks for the advice. OK, one more. Lesson 1G. Exercises 3 and 5. So, did you have a good time in England? It was great. I stayed with a really nice family and I got to know my exchange student quite well. Did you spend a lot of time together? 
Yes, we did. We had similar hobbies. For example, we both liked playing basketball, so we did that every weekend. It was good fun. I hope I get on well with my exchange student. I'm going to stay with him next term. You ought to find out about his hobbies. I think you should send him an email. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe he likes tennis. I play tennis a lot. Well, don't forget to take your tennis racket with you, and anything else you need for your hobbies. Do you think I should take some food from home with me? I'm worried that I'm going to miss it. No, I don't think you should do that. It's easy to buy all kinds of food in the supermarkets in England. What's English food like? It's okay. At school, we had lunch in the canteen every day. The food was quite good. What was the school like? It was quite a small school. I was the only exchange student there, and everybody noticed me because I wasn't wearing a uniform. But they were really friendly, and the lessons were interesting. But they were all in English, of course. I had to concentrate really hard. That sounds tiring. Yes, it was. But you get used to it. Don't worry. Have you got any other advice for me? Yes, you ought to take a present for the parents. Oh, okay. What should I buy for them?、Mm, just something small, something for the house. Okay, good. And remember to say please and thank you when you're staying with them. The English are very polite. Great. Thanks for the advice. Okay, so you have here the answer. Yes, do you? Okay, number you ought to find out. I think you should send. Do you think I should take? Oh, I don't think you should do it. I don't think. Okay, I think you shouldn't take it. Okay, actually, your answer it could be right. But no, I think you should not take it. That's also correct, Lin. That's also correct. The same with when you say, "I don't think you should do." Okay, you ought to take. What should I buy for them? Okay. Next lesson again. This one, Lin. For this one, Lin, okay, please listen again and check your answer. Okay. Lesson one G, exercises three and five. So, did you have a good time in England? It was great. I stayed with a really nice family, and I got to know my exchange student quite well. Did you spend a lot of time together? Yes, we did. We had similar hobbies. For example, we both liked playing basketball, so we did that every weekend. It was good fun. I hope I get on well with my exchange student. I'm going to stay with him next term. You ought to find out about his hobbies. I think you should send him an email. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe he likes tennis. I play tennis a lot. Well, don't forget to take your tennis racket with you, and anything else you need for your hobbies. Do you think I should take some food from home with me? I'm worried that I'm going to miss it. No, I don't think you should do that. It's easy to buy all kinds of food in the supermarkets in England. What's English food like? It's okay. At school, we had lunch in the canteen every day. The food was quite good. What was the school like? It was quite a small school. I was the only exchange student there. And everybody noticed me because I wasn't wearing a uniform, but they were really friendly, and the lessons were interesting. But they were all in English, of course. I had to concentrate really hard. That sounds tiring. Yes, it was, but you get used to it. Don't worry. Have you got any other advice for me? Yes, you ought to take a present for the parents. Oh, okay. What should I buy for them?、Mm, just something small, something for the house. Okay, good.
And remember to say please and thank you when you're staying with them. The English are very polite. Great. Thanks for the advice. Okay. You ought to find out. I think you should send three. Do you think I should take? I don't think you should do. Okay. You ought to take it. And what should I buy? Okay. Okay. All to find. I think you should send. Do you think I should take it? Oh, I don't think you should do. Okay. Thank you so much, Lynn, for your answer. Okay. Now, Lynn, look at the advert below. So, this is advertisement. Okay. Study abroad. Home from Home. Okay, this is advertisement, Lynn. Okay, in your opinion, Lynn, what would be the best and worst things about spending a year with a family abroad? Okay, you write your answer in the chat box, Lynn, about this one. Look at the advertisement. Uh, this is advertisement. Study abroad, home from home. Okay, what would be the best? Best first. And what would be the worst thing about spending a year with a family abroad? Example, your family will go to another country. So what do you think is the best? And what do you think is the worst? I think the best mm. thing about spending a year with a family abroad is you can uh, find find out that to uh, uh practice uh, our English. Louder, Lin. Uh, louder, Lin. Lin, teacher cannot hear. Please make it louder. Oh, uh, you, you maybe when you. Study abroad. Uh, you can you can go to school. You can. Lin, can you hear me? Your school is take hmm? that And the worst thing, Lynn, teacher Anne cannot hear you. Okay, Lynn, teacher Anne cannot hear you. You're choppy. Family work that you can miss job. Uh, the worst thing about spending a year with a family abroad that you can miss your parents. Okay, so again, Lynn, sorry, teacher and cannot hear you properly.
Okay, maybe you, okay. The worst thing is you can, and you want comfortable than in your house. Okay, that would be. How about the best? Okay. Okay, let me check the answer. Okay, the worst thing is you can miss your parents and maybe you want comfortable and in your house. The best things are you can meet new people and you go to school easily okay and it will be okay this is correct you want comfortable than living in your house okay and the best things are you can meet new people and go go to school easily okay so of course if you are gonna meet new people it is quite easy for you to uh it is quite easy for you to to go to school every day because you have your new friends already. Okay, so that would be another positive or best things. Okay. Okay. Please match one or two ideas below with each topic. Okay, please try to put a line.
Like I get trapped with you. Okay, so getting to know your exchange students. Okay, this one, doing hobbies together, useful things to take. Okay, going to school in England, eating in the canteen. Advice about staying with an English family. Okay. And helping with housework. Okay. So much to or more ideas with each topic. Getting to know your change students. So doing hobbies together. Usual things to take care of. Dictionary. Or going to school in England. It could be eating in canteen or wearing uniform because you're talking about school. Advice about staying with an English family, helping with housework because you are stay talking about staying with a family. Okay. Now, listen to the student doing the task from task three. Does she discuss all the topic? Which idea from the exercises does she mention? Okay, please look at this. Look at this first before you lesson okay if you're done looking you tell teacher okay yes teacher okay so please try to listen again we have the topic 
getting to know useful things, going to school, and advice, advice about staying with an English family. Let us have here this lesson. Listen to the student doing the task from task three, the one I show you. Does she discuss all the topics, the four topics? Which idea from the exercises does she mention? Lesson 1G, exercises three and five. So, did you have a good time in England? It was great. I stayed with a really nice family and I got to know my exchange student quite well. Did you spend a lot of time together? Yes, we did. We had similar hobbies. For example, we both liked playing basketball, so we did that every weekend. It was good fun. I hope I get on well with my exchange student. I'm going to stay with him next term. You ought to find out about his hobbies. I think you should send him an email. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe he likes tennis. I play tennis a lot. Well, don't forget to take your tennis racket with you. And anything else you need for your hobbies. Do you think I should take some food from home with me? I'm worried that I'm going to miss it. No, I don't think you should do that. It's easy to buy all kinds of food in the supermarkets in England. What's English food like? It's OK. At school, we had lunch in the canteen every day. The food was quite good. What was the school like? It was quite a small school. I was the only exchange student there, and everybody noticed me because I wasn't wearing a uniform. But they were really friendly, and the lessons were interesting. But they were all in English, of course. I had to concentrate really hard. That sounds tiring. Yes, it was. But you get used to it. Don't worry. Have you got any other advice for me? Yes. You ought to take a present for the parents. Oh, OK. What should I buy for them? Mm, just something small. Something for the house. OK, good. And remember to say please and thank you when you're staying with them. The English are very polite. Great. Thanks for the advice. Again. Lesson 1G. Exercises 3 and 5. So, did you have a good time in England? It was great. I stayed with a really nice family and I got to know my exchange student quite well. Did you spend a lot of time together? Yes, we did. We had similar hobbies. For example, we both liked playing basketball, so we did that every weekend. It was good fun. I hope I get on well with my exchange student. I'm going to stay with him next term. You ought to find out about his hobbies. I think you should send him an email. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe he likes tennis. I play tennis a lot. Well, don't forget to take your tennis racket with you and anything else you need for your hobbies. Do you think I should take some food from home with me? I'm worried that I'm going to miss it. No, I don't think you should do that. It's easy to buy all kinds of food in the supermarkets in England. What's English food like? It's OK. At school, we had lunch in the canteen every day. The food was quite good. What was the school like? It was quite a small school. I was the only exchange student there and everybody noticed me because I wasn't wearing a uniform. But they were really friendly and the lessons were interesting. But they were all in English, of course. I had to concentrate really hard. That sounds tiring. Yes, it was. But you get used to it. Don't worry. Have you got any other advice for me? Yes. You ought to take a present for the parents. Oh, OK. What should I buy for them? Mm, just something small. Something for the house. OK, good. And remember to say please and thank you when you're staying with them. The English are very polite. Great. Thanks for the advice.
Okay, so do you have the answer? The exercise that she men mentioned is she 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 gives him an advice to ask him about his hobby and and the side the, the rule when when he go to England study. You mentioned about the hobby, right? Yes. Okay, yes. So, she mentioned what else? What else she mentioned? Uh, she mentioned about uh, the, uh, the rule of the things she should do when go to England to, to study. Okay, so that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Lynn, we don't have enough time for now. So let us continue tasks. Okay, with me, Lynn, huh? Hi, today is Sunday, right, Lynn? Lynn, I will see you on again Thursday, Lynn, right? Yes. 7 p.m. on Thursday and Friday 7 p.m. again. So we don't have class Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's move Thursday and Friday. Am I correct, Lynn? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So thank you so much. I will see you on Thursday 7 p.m. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye,